Louder. What's up YouTube MJP back with another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys some ways that I found to be helpful with Streamlabs not crashing on me. Now I stream, record, and do everything off of one PC. Yeah, the PC is decent. Core i7, 1060, 6 gigabytes, 16 gigabytes of RAM. It's an okay PC. So I'm able to do a lot of things, but I'm not able to do a lot of things. So I don't have a two PC setup. So when I game on Warzone and I stream with uh, Streamlabs, I occasionally do crash. Now, I didn't really watch a lot of videos on this. Um, actually, only like one, and that was just to configure my settings in general. Um, so I did find some useful ways to kind of like eliminate my Streamlabs from crashing. Now, um, these are personal like preferences, obviously. These are things that I just do, and they work for me, so hopefully they'll work for you guys as well. So the first thing I do is when I go to settings, I go down to output, right? Now, when the encoder, they used to have just the uh, the X264, and that is just your CPU. Now they have the NVNC, and that's your, uh, your GPU, that's your graphics card. A lot of games are CPU intensive, so what you want to do is kind of like take some of the edge off your CPU and move it over to your graphics card. Now that's what I did. Um, and then if you go down, look ahead and visual tuning down here, you want to turn both of these off. So that's one thing I do and it does drop your CPU. Here, I'll show you guys real quick. I'm not going to mess with the encoder, but I am going to show you the difference between look ahead and tuning. Now, as you can see, I'm running about like a 6.57 uh, CPU usage. Now we're going to turn both of these on and look how it jumps up to 8.9. So we're going to turn those off. You see, now it's at 9 and now it's going back down. That's what we want. We want it to stay as low as possible. And I was jumping back up because I'm messing with it. Now, the main thing that I do, you can see that I have my preview on, right? Obviously, I don't have a game open, and obviously that I'm recording with OBS, as you can see, um, that I don't have my webcam on because you, OBS is technically using the webcam right now, so these aren't displaying. But if we right-click anywhere on the screen, you'll see performance mode. Now, that is what you want to do. This is the biggest thing you can do is put your Streamlabs in performance mode. Now, obviously, your mixer isn't displaying at all. It's working. It's still streaming. It's still recording. It just disables all the previews. Now, that's the hugest thing you can do. Now, look at the CPU. It's at 2.3, 3.6, and it's not hovering over above 4 or 5. That is the hugest thing you can do. This is going to improve everything so much. It's going to eliminate the crash. It's going to help you out tremendously. And the preview is gone, but you still have everything recording and streaming. Now, as you can see, it's right back to normal. All you got to do is just right click, and then there you go. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did in any way, shape, or form, please drop a like on the video and subscribe. I live stream Warzone pretty much every other day. So it will be awesome if you guys can tune in. Thank you guys for watching and have a good one. Peace out. Make the Louder.